And meanwhile, here at home, Governor Raimondo is cautioning that President Trump's plan to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act would have a dramatic ripple effect on Rhode Islanders, their health care, and their wallets. I'm Ms. News reporter Susan Campbell is live at the State House now, where the governor just wrapped up a news conference about 15 minutes ago. Susan? The governor is calling that Republican health care plan wrong and un-American. At that news conference that just wrapped up, the governor was flanked by her health cabinet. She spoke out against the plan and urged the president and Congress to abandon it. The governor says Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, is working for Rhode Islanders. Now, the uninsured rate in the state is at 4%, down from about 12% before the Affordable Care Act. She says coverage for thousands would be at risk and costs would soar. Take a listen. This is much more than politics. Trump care will hurt many people in Rhode Island. Lives are literally at risk. The message to President Trump, the message to the Congress, the message to Speaker Ryan is that the Trump care plan is wrong. It's not moral. It's not right. It's not necessary. And we, the people of Rhode Island, will be harmed if it's passed. I spoke with state Republican Representative Patricia Morgan. She says the added costs would be difficult to cover, but she says believe, she believes lawmakers would be able to find solutions. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Susan, thank you. And our coverage of the governor's response will continue as the state of Rhode Island tries to prepare for the possibility of cuts to federal health care. We'll have much more on this starting live at 5.